Good morning, everybody, and happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel, Food by Faith. I wanted you guys to come along with me as I made breakfast this morning. So I am going to make simply some seasoned home fries or just like diced potatoes with some bacon and eggs. And then I'm going to show you how I make my coffee. Can you just come along? hang hang out with me this morning so I have my pan that's preheating on the stove I have some thick sliced bacon that I cut up I took about five slices of bacon and cut it up You can use any brand of bacon that you like. I tend to lean towards using a thick slice bacon when I'm using it to cook with or just eat in general. And for me, I'm making breakfast for about three people this morning. So I'm gonna use one bag of these diced potatoes. Two tablespoons of butter. And I've already put about a tablespoon of olive oil inside our pan. We're gonna let our bacon crisp up a little bit, render down some of the fat, and then I'll go ahead and put the potatoes in as well as the butter. And although our potatoes say that they're seasoned, I'm gonna add a little seasoning as well. So what I'm going to add, once I put the potatoes in, is some seasoning salt. And then I'm also going to add, here, looks a little strange, but it is onion powder. And this onion powder I make myself, and it's um, pretty special. It's a process though. I take uh, Vidalia onions, the sweet onions, and I caramelize them. Once I caramelize them, I let them cool, then I dehydrate them. Once I dehydrate them, then I take my coffee grinder and I grind them up. And as you can see, I kind of have some dried beans in here with it. And that keeps it um, from clumping a little bit. But it adds an amazing flavor to whatever you're cooking. And if you have people in your family who aren't big onion eaters, this will be amazing for them. So we have our bacon cooked down a little bit. I'm going to bring you over here to the stove. We don't want to overcook it because remember we're going to put the potatoes in here and they're going to cook for a little while as well. So I put the potatoes in and I turned our heat up just a little bit higher. And this is what the potatoes look like straight out of the bag. They have a little bit of seasoning on them like I told you before. So we're gonna add a bit of our own. as well as our two tablespoons of butter. I'm 
And although we have our oils in there, we add the butter for a little bit more added flavor. And when you're cooking any type of potato, you need to make sure you add some fat into the pan because of the starch in the potatoes, they will stick. So I am going to add about a tablespoon more of oil. Sorry about all the noise. We are organizing and getting things straight and my husband's going in and out of the door. So while our potatoes are frying up, I'm going to take you along the journey of me making my coffee. So this is the type of coffee maker I use when I'm making coffee. It is a percolator. Now I do have a regular coffee maker, but I also use a Bialetti Italian percolator and it comes in about three to four pieces. This is where you put your water. This is where your coffee, your espresso powder goes, which fits inside here. Then this piece fits on top. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. Bring a little bit closer. Now you see I have my coffee grounds in. And the lid just screws on top. Now this machine actually makes three cups of espresso. Um, I put enough in so that I get about two shots in my cappuccino. And from there, this little pot fits right here on top and what happens is as the water boils here it works with the coffee comes through the spout and inside the cute little pot it goes and guys my pot isn't dirty it's just stained I use it a lot get that going this is my frother this is where I put my almond milk and I heat it up and then I froth it for the top of my cappuccino put everything back in the fridge Guys, I do want to bring you along inside my fridge right quick. So, you guys know that I absolutely enjoy organizing. I wanted to show you a few little uh, easy organizing hacks. So, this is where I keep my eggs. And I use a lot of eggs, so I have two of them. But these came from the Dollar Tree. So when you are looking to organize, always start at the Dollar Tree first because you actually can find quite a few items there. I found these egg holders at the Dollar Tree. These I actually got from a home store. But then also these items here, as you can see, I kind of, I know a lot of people throw away the different sauces that they get, but I actually organized them and keep them in a container because my kids and my husband like sauce 
And so we got these from the Dollar Tree as well. As well as this rack that I keep um, my vegetables in. And in this drawer, this little rack where I keep more sauces, it actually came from the Dollar Tree. So when you're looking to organize, revamp things, try checking with the Dollar Tree because you can find a lot of items there. Same thing here. These containers that I have, I got those from Walmart and they were just $2. I'm going to have to bring you guys along with me when I organize one day so that you can see all the different things that I do. Because I absolutely enjoy organizing. So guys, we're almost done here. I just want you to see what the potatoes are looking like. They're almost ready. And the coffee is percolating. So thank you for coming along with me as I do my breakfast this morning.